Bangs! Right! Set yourself back to Anglo-Saxon Britain. The East Coast, villages, monasteries, all being sacked by hairy raiders from over the seas. Carrying things like axes, chop, things like swords, swoosh and spears. Jab? Anyway, all of these items they're carrying to cause destruction. But how did a Viking warrior keep themselves safe? Well, the first piece of equipment that they could wear would be something like this. A gambeson. A gambeson is a padded jacket. Thick layers of wool or linen stop things cutting them and piercing them. Nice and light, nice and warm, especially in poor weather. Next thing they could have, if they were really rich, a male shirt. Now these are quite heavy. Not the most recommended thing for if you're sitting on a boat. You would sink very quickly if you're wearing one of these and went for a swim. Helmets! We found a few Viking helmets and we'll talk more about those on another video. But helmets made out of iron or steel could also defend your head. But how would your average Viking warrior defend themselves? Well, shields. Shields were quite a common item. They were cheap to make. They were made out of wood wrapped in leather or hide around the edges uh, and on the front here. This metal bit, it's called a boss. This would be perfect for defending your hand, which is on the other side of the shield. We found a few different examples of these shields uh, at Trailberg and at Gokstad. These different shields, obviously very old, have fallen apart. But if we look at this one here that I've made, we can see it's from the same size. So that's about 85 centimeters across its diameter. Thickness wise, right in the middle here, it's about eight millimeters. Now that's less than a centimeter. So that's pretty thin. On the edge, it's even thinner, five millimeters, half a centimeter. That makes these shields light and durable. It's not just one solid piece of wood either. You can see there's planks of wood all across here, held over the top with a handle. Most shields that we've found have around about seven planks. This one I've got had slightly smaller planks, so I used nine. However, it means that it can bend, and although this has taken a battering, it still holds up today, even though it's got a few cracks in it. Now, once you've got your wooden shield, you need to cover it in something. Here we've got pieces of leather or hide, or you could even use something like rawhide over the top. This would give the wooden shield just a little bit more durability to stop it from breaking. How do you stick it on? Glue! But how did Vikings make glue? Well, one of the possible ideas is that they made it from cheese. Ugh, that must absolutely stink making a cheese glue. Yeah. Right, so what I want you to do is start having a think about Viking shields. What can you do with them? Well, first of all, see if you can make a blueprint. How do you make these things? Think about all the things that make it up. Well, you've got the wooden planks, you've got the shield boss, you've got rawhide around the edge, which will be stitched on as well. Don't forget the handle on the back, otherwise you won't be able to pick it up. Make a blueprint for these and then see if you can have a go at writing a set of instructions. How do you make a Viking shield? Well, you can tell me. Might need to do a bit of research on some of these. Second task I want you to do, a lot of Viking shields that are found, like the Gokstad shields, were painted in different colours. This one here, like the Gokstad ones, is painted in black and yellow. I want you to have a go at designing a shield. If you want, do it full size. See if you can find a piece of card or paper big enough, 85 centimetres from one side to the other. If not, do it a bit smaller. See what you can do, come up with some good Viking designs for your shield. Final thing, Harold Bluetooth was meant to have uh, commissioned one of the places that these shields were found. I want you to go on, have a look, have a look at his fortress, see what other items were there. All the details are written down below in the video. In the meantime though, I'm going to go and sack some monks. Ah!